very special. Uh, what I'm going to do, he's so relaxed here, that I think there's a herd of buffalo moving off in front of us. I'm just going to sneak around the front of him. It'll be a little bit noisy. A nice question from James Richards saying, is there any particular aspect of leopard behavior that I have observed to be um, sort of indicated incorrectly in guidebooks. And so there's a whole herd of buffalo in front of us here, actually. I can just see you moving through the shadows there. James, um, good question. Do you mean, I suppose, like it is with wild dogs, where they say that they're the most successful hunters, etc., etc.? Um, Oh, a scrub hare just shot up out of the bush. That's what he saw. It was sitting only a meter from where I am sitting now. That's what he spotted. Oh, shame. He was probably going to eat it if I hadn't frightened it away. Not sure he saw it, though. There he's up. Isn't he lovely? This is so special. He's just trotting there. I think he's going to trot up onto this termite mound. Silent, silent footfalls. He's just looking where that rabbit went, not rabbit hair. James, I guess the most obvious one would be that most guidebooks will tell you that they're nocturnal, which they patently are not, and that they hunt normally at night. Most leopard hunting behavior I've ever seen has been during the day. I don't want to move, just in case that scrub hair is actually closer than well, I think it is. Now that, you see how he lifted his tail? It's because those green wood hoopoos have spotted him and they're making a noise and alarm calling at him. So he's just lifted his tail as a sort of sign of surrender. I don't want to move just in case that scrub hair is just around the termite mound there and he spotted it again. He's definitely just spotted the buffalo. I don't think the scrub hair will move. Let's move around a little bit around the side. He's very gold, I think, compared with his mother. And you can see he's got tall. He spotted it, I think. He's taller than, um, than his mum. He's like a teenager that hasn't filled out yet. This is fantastic. Here we sit with Africa's Prince of Cats. And he's totally ignoring us, which I find amazing, especially given his experience. And they're infinitely patient, you know, when they're on the hunt like this. And you can maybe just hear the scuffling of leaves. That's the buffalo. There they are. He won't be thinking about one of those. Well, not unless he's uh, feeling particularly stupid today. I would go around the front if we want to see his face, but I think we'll make a big noise. Looks like he's poised in some way. I wonder if we can see that scrub here. Let's go around the other side. Let's see if we can. 